You want a class C now? Yeah, why don't you buy me one, baby? <laughs> there you go. Put that on the list. <laughs> So Steph's parents are traveling with us for a few days. I thought I'd show you guys their camper. They're in a 2018 Winnebago View 24D. I am slightly obsessed with their camper. I kind of want one. I thought I'd kind of compare theirs and ours. We have a 2018 Grand Design Imagine 2600 RB. I thought I'd kind of take you guys through their camper, kind of compare ours against theirs, especially for full-time RV living. So let's go check out their camper. Let's so, start with the outside. So this is our, as you can tell, laundry, extra shoe storage. It actually has a hole up in the bathroom cabinet so you can just throw your laundry down in here, take it out whenever, just extra storage. It's kind of a, a not originals that it was a, a, mod. a modification so then this is the wet bay so you can put wet things in it it's not got any wood it's all plastic and metal in there so you can put your hoses and anything wet wet shoes wet swimming suits of course there's the propane generator propane comes standard you can upgrade to the diesel and of course this is the truma a uh, tankless water heater and then this is just stuff more storage more stuff, stuff. full-timers love storage oh it's got an outlet out there is that for the that's the that's the actual uh, oh the power inverter power inverter yeah it's got one out out of here so you can plug things in outside oh that's the, I see. the usb port on it too yeah it is yeah, you charge your phone or whatever if you're sitting oh. outside so on the other side, on, the, on this side, we have uh, the outside shower and all the drains and hookups and electrical, the water dumps, um, but you, it also has a hose where you can do an outside shower. The stabilizer jacks on there and there's a place where you can plug in auxiliary solar in there. Oh, I see. So there's your hookups there. Yeah. Tank flush. Yes. So the other two storage are under the slide, which is an issue if you have your slide out and you want to get in those compartments. Oh yeah. You can just leave it on the wall. Ah. Oh. So your black one goes the whole length. Oh, I see. So it's just divided. Oh, this is okay. Yeah, it's got two doors, but it goes the whole length. So we have the long stuff like the table. That uh, plastic fence post has our winter poles in it, so they're. Oh, I see. And just some tools, <laughs> air compressor, stuff like that. You know you grew up in a farm when your parents carry their weenie poles in an old fence post. <laughs> Hitch, apparently 5,000 pound towing capacity, so fair amount, but not a ton. So this is my favorite part of the whole camper. Whoa! Very fancy. So you don't have to tug the steps out. So every time we see this camper in our minds, we just compare it to ours and kind of from a full-time perspective. So that's kind of what we're going to talk about. I'm just going to walk you through it, show you the camper, and tell you kind of compared to ours, what we like, what we don't like, and what we would really like in ours. So it's a class C, you've got the bunk above it. So this flips down and you have a full bed up there. It's not big enough to really sit up, but I look at that thing and dream of a reading nook. Also, if you had people over, you could put a couple people up there to sleep. Ladder's right here, it moves over. My parents mostly use the ladder for storage, which I think is a really good idea. They've got little storage bins and stuff here. The cab itself, I think is incredible because very comfortable. My dad tried to make me drive it yesterday. I refused. Mike did drive it and was very impressed. Yeah, it drives really nice. <laughs> but you're driving in your house, so I think it'd be incredible to sit in these seats and be like, I'm hungry. We're at a stop sign. Run, run, run. Grab something out of the fridge. Sit back down. Safely, of course. Safely, of course. When you're stopped, then safely can remove your seatbelt. 
Whereas in ours, every time we go on a trip, I pack a whole cooler, I have a pack a whole bag because I can't be without food. The seats also spin around and they're pretty comfortable, have a little extra cushion on them so it makes them taller. So you have seating space here where you can watch your TV right here. There's so much seating space in here. I mean, really, if you wanted to throw a couple kids up there, you could have a movie night, a couple kids there, a couple people here, a couple people at the dinette, there's a couch, tons of seating room. It's kind of our own fault, but ours right now just has the couch and a couple chairs and stools that we've put in it. I don't cook a ton, but kitchen space is a big deal. So countertop space in class C's, I don't feel like is optimized very well. This one has a lot. That's one of the specific rooms, one of the specific reasons my parents really like it. So you got a lot of countertop space. You also have a two burner stove top. Ours is a three burner to stove top in our 2600 RB, but honestly, you really can't use more than one at a time. Maybe you can use two, but really, I think it's kind of silly in most campers to have more than one, but there are two in this one if you wanted to, and this folds down to give you even more countertop space. All around the kitchen, they have a two basin sink. It's nice and deep. They also have the little extendable uh, faucet here like ours. I honestly like ours better in that it's one big sink. Some people might like the split ones. I like the one big one better. Tons of storage. Full timer perspective, you want and need as much storage as possible. Probably don't need it, but you want it. This has a ton of storage, honestly, for a class C. So underneath the sink here, oops, mom's gonna kill me. It's really well organized. We just haven't cleaned up after the drive, but tons of storage space. They've added some little shelves down here that kind of optimize that too, but that's huge. That's probably bigger than underneath our sink in our 29 foot travel trailer, because under our sink, you've got a, a divider. You've got our hoses down there. It takes up a lot of the space. All right. And then you've got three nice big drawers here. Every camper needs a junk drawer. It's got some kitchen stuff and medicine. And then this is just a catch-all too, I think. Got some dividers in there. Really deep, very nice. And then, but wait, there's more. Again, this is more than is in our camper that's bigger than theirs. Mom calls this like a kind of pointless drawer. It looks like it's really deep just to kind of keep the aesthetic, but it's really only about an inch deep. So they just have a couple utensils laying in here. And then, but wait, there's more. In the kitchen still, there's more storage. Oh gosh, I'm not very good at these. You have to pinch them and pull them. There, there you go. go, you got it. Really deep cabinets. I, we do have a little more uh, storage space up top probably, but for what they have in here, it's way better. Unexpected storage space. The TV, it's kind of set up so you can see it from the dinette, but I told you the captain's chairs kind of spin around and you can sit in those. I struggle with this, so I pre-opened it, but there's a latch back here and behind it, you have tons of storage space. I think this would be good for like top secret stuff that you didn't want just laying out, okay, like a safe and money and stuff like that. But it also swivels so you can see it better from the chairs. Convection microwave, which I think it would be great because we barely use our stove and you guys know how I feel about lighting our oven. I wouldn't have that problem in here. So microwave and convection oven. I think those are great ideas for campers. Their fridge is probably about the same size as ours. It's set up a little bit differently as far as the shelves. I don't love it, but I think it might be a little bit bigger in some ways. I know the freezer is bigger. Yeah, but this one's great. We have a pantry in our 2600 RB and we've put a couple of drawers in it, but this came like this, you ready? Look at this. All of them have drawers and they're all really nice and deep. So four of them. And then underneath here, you've got your um, thing that I broke. Fuse box. Fuse box. Just the front <laughs> I forgot it's not a hinge. Ours is a hinge. Anyway, fuse box, which I think is nice that it's kind of hidden. It makes it look a little nicer in here. And then up top. But wait, there's more. That one's not actually storage. And this has your slide and everything in it. This is a big deal. I don't know the specs on it, but I would love to have solar on our camper. There's this built in and they've got their whole control, control panel right here. I 
love the idea of solar. We don't have it. The 2600 RB is ready for it, programmed and wired for it, but theirs is already built in. They have a built-in generator in this. They are set to boondock for a long time. We don't have that, so obviously this one wins that competition. I would definitely say the 2600 RB wins over the bathroom in the View 24D, but the bathroom's still pretty nice in here. So you have your toilet, somebody my height, no problem here sitting down, you got some knee space. Somebody a little taller might have some difficulties. The shower, pretty much set up the same as ours. You got your skylight, which really helps. My dad is about 6'3", and he says he fits in here okay, but it's definitely more narrow than ours. We don't have as much elbow space in here. Still nice that it's a small camper and has a full, full bathroom. Blah. More storage, which is awesome. Three shelves. I think my parents put this shelving unit in here um, to add to it. And then your medicine cabinet. That's pretty big for a small bathroom. A lot of these smaller bathrooms don't have much storage. The guy that owned this before my parents did several like small modifications. This one I think is just such a great idea. It's, it's really awesome that it has this storage, but it's just optimized so much better here. So originally this was hanging space. So there was a bar across the top that you could hang clothes. But if you travel on a camper, especially full time, you know that you can fit a lot more clothes in if they're folded on shelves than if they're hanging. So they got rid of that and put in these shelves and they're deep. Like, I don't know if we can get the camera back here, but that's the wall back there. Very nice. And then on this bottom shelf, he cut a hole and then made a laundry chute. So dirty clothes, you don't have to worry about your hamper laying out in the middle of your class C that there's not really room for. Toss it in here. My parents put their laundry basket right there. Open up the outside storage, grab it, go to the laundry mat. Ah, I think it's such a good idea and I would love to have that in our camper. I will say too, there's two vents. This one came with one Max Air vent, which if you're in the RV community, you know Max Air vents and how amazing they are. He, uh, my dad upgraded the other one, so now they have two Max Air vents in them. Very quiet too, and moves a lot of air. So if you haven't seen this model before, you may be asking yourself, where's the bed at? So this actually has a Murphy bed, which I'm really intrigued by. So they get the win for this. But this just pops up. And then there's a switch back here that lowers it. Catch it. Boom, bed. And then what's really nice is if you have guests over, you still don't have to make your bed. You can just <laughs> flip it up and forget about it. <laughs> there's also storage up above here. So there's no wasted space. So you can put clothes up there. There's three cabinets here, reading lights. The headboard actually comes off too if you need to clean it or if you need to clean the wall behind it, which is also really nice. It's just on there with a Velcro. And then underneath, the bed here, there's storage in the couch, which is really nice. <laughs> we are boondocking right now, so I think that's generally a little <laughs> faster. Yeah. That we're working off of not electricity. You got outlets on either side of the bed as well. And then you kind of got your standard dinette uh, that folds down into a bed. If if you need to use that too so when we bought our camper three years ago to go full time in we kind of wrote off class c's right off the bat we were new to camping new to rving we aren't mechanics and we were both kind of worried that if our house broke down that's it our house is broke down which is kind of silly thinking because we tow our house with a vehicle and if our vehicle breaks down our house is still broken down yeah it's just but, i i thought that it would be a big concern for me if it did break down that we'd be out of luck but we already have that problem anyway yeah so. but we still love our camper it's a 29 foot travel trailer this is a 25 foot class c i mean comparatively yeah they're very different but they you can different. see a lot of similarities too. all right so bathroom we definitely win with the bathroom and we ours. love our bathroom um it's, just because we have huge. more space yeah. we can really both i can be in the shower while she's in there doing her makeup yeah. And the countertop space on the vanity on the sink too. I don't think I've seen another camper with that big of a vanity space. Good and bad because I clutter the heck out of it all the time. I leave my stuff laying on, on it, which isn't the best, yeah. but 
it's nice to have all that space. All right, so kitchen, I think they're both comparable. I think they're comparable. The good yeah. thing about ours is that it has a shelf that flips up, so you can put like a crock pot mm -hmm. on it, or I put the dishes on it. Yeah. Um, but I think they're pretty comparable, I'd say, in size, right? Yeah, ours is like an L-shaped kitchen in the 2600RB, and the countertop extension really helps extend the cabinet or the counter space. We have a we have an oven. I hate the oven. Oh yeah, they don't have, have an oven in they, here. They have a convection microwave, so it's a really clever idea. I'm sure that people that actually like to bake probably don't like them as much, but I don't. I don't bake. I barely cook, and when I want to bake something, me and the oven have to have a conversation for about 30 minutes before it'll turn on. It's and those aren't nice words in the conversation. It's become a thing with people <laughs> commenting saying that they also have trouble lighting the oven. I don't know why so. it's so difficult. But so uh, mm. comparable in space. Uh, obviously, some differences there, but they may have a possible. better. Um, they may have a better fridge. I still I think know. the fridge is a little bigger. I'd have to actually look. We'd have to look at the specs, but I like the way ours is set up better, and that might just be because I'm used to it. The space in there, it's just the shelves are different. So bedroom. They win. Do you think they win? <laughs> I mean, if you want a dedicated bedroom, ours wins. We have a 29-foot travel trailer, and we have a room. We have an entire room in our camper that we barely use. That's true. That's, I really like the Murphy bed. I know. I'm fascinated by it. They say the beds aren't as comfortable. My parents aren't as comfortable on the mattress itself. I think you can probably remedy that with some foam toppers or something, but you are limited on how big of a uh, mattress you can get. It's a short queen. Ours is a full-size queen. It's completely walk around in our camper, mm. but we don't use it. We go in there and we sleep, and then during the day I go in there maybe to grab a pair of socks. And that's it. Like, that's an entire section of our camper that it's just dead space. So we're giving them the win for the bedroom since I would. they are missing five feet off their camper compared to ours, or yeah. four feet off four their feet, camper, yeah. and they have just as much space as we do, really. Yeah. So you can have a different opinion too if you like our bedroom better. But um, I'm I kind of, it. I kind of like having a dedicated bedroom. Yeah. But like you say, we're never in there unless if we're sleeping. And more storage isn't always a good thing, just That's because true. you end up filling the space. True. So we do have more storage for our clothes, but. All right. So dinette area. Well, we got rid of our dinette. We got areas. rid of our dinette. <laughs> so I don't really know if you could really compare the two. No. Um, I would probably still take the dinette out. They actually want to do that. I think your dad said last night he wanted to do that. Definitely. They want to put recliners in. Um, and they also have storage right up above me here too. So there again, no wasted space. Yeah, so. we don't have that. We don't have any storage on our slide in our camper. But we took our dinette out. If you guys aren't familiar with that, we can probably drop a link up here to show you our renovation. But all right, so the cutoff being here, yeah. we don't have any of this in our mm -hmm. camper. So they really have more seating area Absolutely. because those chairs turn around and they have the bunk up above too. Yeah. So if you don't want to use the bunk as a bunk, you could take that out or convert it into your own storage area or anything like that. Yeah, I so. think a lot of people have taken out the mattress and put like shelves up there, made it a, like a bookcase, all kinds of multifunctional things. but. I think one thing that we have learned over three years of full-time RV living is that everything should have at least two purposes. Yeah. So the bed being also a couch, being a Murphy bed, having storage, the chairs that uh, you sit to drive in that can spin around and be like your recliner TV chairs. There's also, we didn't even mention, there's a table leg and tabletop and you can put it in front of the couch and have a table there. You can put it in front of the captain's chairs and have a table there. Like. Winnebago thought of several things to make space multi-purpose and 2600 RB the grand design I think they did but not as much yeah it's really nice to be able to move that table from here to there and we actually kind of want to do something similar to our camper after seeing this so yeah. we'll just see they also have solar and they have a built-in generator so they can live off grid for a lot longer than yeah. us as well so the two solar panels on top help keep the batteries charged and i could see them being able to boondock in this camper for quite a while before they need to head back so well would you would you switch them yeah <laughs> 
but I think one of the big cons for this and one of the reasons we're really not actually seriously having this conversation but it's fun to dream is money. money. We bought our 2600 RB about three years ago and it was a little over 30 grand. We bought it on the West Coast so it does affect the price a little bit and the options we had in it but $30,000. We also brought, bought our truck new which was around the same price. So our whole setup with having a daily driver was just over $60,000. Yeah, you can buy a used one of these Class C's right now for around 120, 130. So, and that's one vehicle, no extra vehicle. So, you just gotta consider that when you're looking yeah. to purchase. Yeah, if price point's a big deal, then that's a big deal. But if the ease of having everything right here, having your generator built in, solar, inverter, the small space that you can park anywhere, my goodness, the driving mm -hmm. with, we've been caravanning with my parents and <laughs> we went up a hill today and Mike's like, oh, man. oof, Mike, <laughs> my dad, he said, How, how'd you handle that hill? My dad's like, I was not, we just drove up it and Mike's like, my knuckles are still white. <laughs> like, it was a little nerve wracking, but yeah, with something smaller like this, you can get into those small spaces a lot easier. You can also get into gas stations a lot easier. Yep. So. These are all just things to consider guys. We just wanted to do a quick video kind of comparing the two today and tell you why I have such a crush on this RV. If you guys travel in a travel trailer or class C or have thought about it, let us know why you picked which one. If you've seen these models, which one you'd prefer. Maybe we could do a vote and see which one would win. 2600 RB versus View 24D. Ooh. Let us know below. Yeah, let us know which one you prefer guys. If you are new here, Make sure you're subscribed down below so you're following along with our adventures. And we'll see you guys next time.